welcome to the first episode of Tokyo Pin Shop Throwback Thursday, where we look at products from the past. And mostly it's just for fun, but there's also a little game where if Kimberly can, she'll try to remember what it was called and when we launched it on our store. Are you ready for the first product? Yeah. This one kind of has a spoiler on it. Yeah, I remember this one. These were really pretty. We did not have them for very long, but I think we had them around the year 2015. <laughs> Are you going to tell me if I'm right? Survey says December 2015. <laughs> nice. And the name, of course, is Petite Clip, like it has on the, on the packaging. Uh, I wish I still had some of these, actually. They were really pretty. They're very lacy kind of looking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The deer is really cute. We yeah. do have a deer clip right now that's in the Midori Japanese, like the Midori clip, Midori e clip Japanese Eclipse. designs. Yeah. yeah, and it's pretty cute. I use it. Deer yeah, one. that's probably closest to this, but I feel like this was really popular. Sorry that we missed it. Okay, the petite B. <laughs> Wait, so I'm supposed to be guessing when this would have launched on our store? Yeah, that's part of it, but I also just think it was like... Um, so this is, you probably can't tell from the picture, but this was really tiny. And there was a wallet maker who would also get them for us, and like, because oh. they made this wallet that needed this little tiny pin in it. Right. And they were also upset when it got discontinued. But it wasn't our fault. <laughs> and then there was a bigger version of this too. Right. So this, I think, we had very early on. I'm going to guess that we had this on our store starting in 2010. Let's see. <laughs> very close. 2011. Okay. The thing that I remember about this is it was like the smallest of the mini pens basically. Yeah, it was teeny, teeny. Anyway. It was very I, light because the top like cap part I feel like was quite thin. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I saw these when we were in Japan in I think the year I think it was right at, we, we took Henry right after right like on his first birthday or something. Mm-hmm. So that would have been 2015. But then I think it took us a while to like figure out how to order them. So I think we probably launched them in 2016. Okay, let's see what it says. <laughs> August 2016. <laughs> and for people who can't quite tell. I, I'm, I'm liking that yeah. part of the game. No, you're on fire. <laughs> I don't know why this picture is not working here. But these are the image. The main part of the image yeah, is the, made from a cut piece of wood. Yeah, of so wood. cute. It actually reminds me of the Kilo pin cases that we have right now because yeah. the tag is made from wood. Yeah. This is kind of unusual. Yeah. 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 Also, we just don't really do cards that much now, but we did for a while. Yeah. And when we had a brick and mortar store, it, that was more of a place I felt like mm -hmm. that we would like sell more cards. Mm hmm why i don't even remember this this was from uh, that company that we don't order from anymore it's actually not from japan it's american oh okay so i think that we this was from 2017 okay let's see <laughs> very close oh, end, the, of end of 2016 <laughs> I think the company changed its name to Uni uh, or Uli. Or Uli something. or something. Yeah, it's you can find their products in like a lot of stores in the United States now. That's one reason we actually stopped carrying them is just because they became not like they weren't like that unique anymore. Right. But this was I, f I feel like I remember this being bigger than it looks. Yes, it's substantial. The Tower it is substantial. <laughs> I did not even remember this product. Amazing. Okay. <laughs> yes, 
I remember this limited edition Coletto from, let's see, I believe that would have been 2016. Let's take a look. I don't even remember what Rip PPR Mario is now, to be honest. I'm pretty sure it was a designer. Oh, it's 2017. Very close. Okay. Yeah, so it's... The cool things about these limited edition Colettos they come out with are these refillable cases. And you can also reuse the... The in the tips, the topper, uh, yeah, the toppers. And I have done videos about how to reuse the toppers in case you're confused by what I'm saying. But if you get any of these limited edition Coletto, you don't want to throw away the toppers if you would want to reuse them because you can just stick them on a regular Coletto. And the cases I thought were very cool and convenient too. Yeah, yeah, the, ca the cases are very cool. And so every once in a while. Pilot will re-release a limited edition case, and they sell really fast when they release them. So definitely if you see them pop up on our store, um, or you can sign up for upcoming alerts of them, then like I would recommend doing it, because it's nice to have these if you're a Coletto user. Oh man, this is one of the saddest discontinueds ever. So this was the High Tech Sea Cavalier, and it was basically a professional body. It did not hold a regular size high tech seat insert. It had its own size of insert, but the tip is the same and the ink is the same as the high tech seat. So for people who like the high tech seat but wanted a little bit more of an elegant body, this was really nice. It was kind of nice and thin. So like people who can't use, you know, thicker than average pens really liked this. I remember it being really popular with women with smaller hands since it, you know, it's not too fat. But yeah, first they discontinued a lot of the colors, and then they eventually just discontinued the whole thing. I think that we probably had this since, like, I'm going to say 2011. All right. It's probably earlier. Ah! You, you knew. <laughs> you wanted to say earlier, but, but I think we had the silver and black ones for a long time. Yeah, they were... They discontinued the colors first. Mm -hmm. oh, I wish I would have really had great. some of those, like the blue-green one or the blue one. Those are so pretty. Okay. That's a little sad. I like that one. Okay, so this was a very limited release of Zebra Mild Liner. And it came, it was a 10 set that came with its own, like, large case that looked like a mild liner. They sold out immediately, and of course it was one of those things that like we could only get a small amount, which was kind of disappointing. Um, I believe that this was in, I'm going to say it was 2017 or 18. Okay. <laughs> oh, really? Ooh, 2019, and I, I agree, I think we had it maybe for it. A part of a day or something. Yeah, it was one of those things that I think just like sold out in like an hour. Yeah. Unfortunately. I think it's so funny that it's got like the mild liner styling and everything, but it's this short stubby little squat cup. Yeah. I didn't even keep one of these for myself, so I'd be really interested to know if anybody watching this has one. I Some people bought like one of each color. Right. I remember. Right. I'm sure there are people still using them. Yeah. Anyway, next. <laughs> well, that was it. So oh. um, that was it for Throwback Thursday number one. But we can do future for Throwback Thursdays. And uh, if anybody has uh, Throwback Thursday suggestions, just email them to me only, frank at com, so it can be a surprise for Kimberly. Kimberly.